looking for new ways to cash in on social media. Some are even looking into trademarking certain hashtags. As Lydia Serrano tells us, Kris Jenner is one of them. In many of her tweets, momager Kris Jenner often uses the hashtag Proud Mama. Jenner now wants to trademark the hashtag, but a jewelry designer already beat her to it in 2009. Pepsi already trademarked its hashtag, Say It With Pepsi. Mucinex, the cold medicine, trademarked hashtag Blame Mucus. And Nike trademarked what else? Hashtag Just Do It. Hashtags are used on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. The United States leads the world with the most hashtag applications. As of 2015, there have been about a thousand applications just right here in the U.S. And the attorney we spoke to says that number is only going up. If you're associated with that phrase, but you still don't have a product or service, then it's still not considered a traditional trademark. It is all based on the use in commerce provisions in the Trademark Act. By commerce, Amy Goldsmith, an intellectual property attorney and partner with the firm Tartar, Krinsky and Drogan, says for the hashtag to be trademarked, it has to be used in a business capacity. Allstate, you're in good hands with Allstate. Well, that indicates their insurance services, so it's in connection with the rendering of those services. Hashtag, you're in good hands. Hashtag, you're in good hands with Allstate. Those are all capable of being registered. Goldsmith says the average person can't be sued for simply using a trademarked hashtag. But if you are a business, big or small, it's a good idea to just do it and trademark your own. It's always a great idea for small businesses to brand themselves because it's all about distinguishing your product and your services from others. Lydia Serrani, Fox 5 News. Marking hashtags. <laughs> What's next? All right, Fox